Hopefully this doesn't suck. Braised short rib, making braised short rib ravioli. Okay, first I gotta like figure this out or else I'm gonna have like a heart attack. Okay. Two sticks of chopped celery. It's just a little baby. What? This is a shallot. I don't know if people like know what like a shallot is normally. It's like a mild onion. Get my hair tie out of here. Whoop. So I'm taking all the roughly chopped veggies. Oh, actually. Why am I, why is this so difficult for me? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Super easy. So these are regular, just baby bell mushrooms, just chopping up. That's not ravioli. No, but I have to make the meat to go in it first. So these are short ribs. I just got them in the public section. Public section? meat section, all <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of oil into the Dutch oven so that the meat doesn't stick. I dried the meat with a paper towel and now I'm just laying it fat side down. Salt and pepper. I let these cook for maybe five, no, maybe four minutes on either side before flipping. So I'm adding all of the vegetables that we chopped up. Kind of mix everything in. Adding in the mushrooms. So I'm adding some red wine to the pan. It's gonna deglaze it. Cook off all that, my God. Add the beef stock. Ooh, I kind of want to take a bath in it. I'm going to put some basil in. One bay leaf. Put the lid on. Let it cook for a couple hours. I can't make this up, folks. This is the bone that the meat was on. The bone. That's how tender this is. Holy cannoli. I'm oh my god, look. It's like still cooking. But that's it's like some thick ass sauce. Thick. So you don't got no sauce, then you, you, you lost. Mm -hmm. Six cups of flour. Eggs. Three egg yolks and one whole egg. Listen to the sound. That's a good sound. <gasps> Oh, bye. No, please, I have a family. This lighting is literally the pits. This is all I have, so all I'm gonna put in is about one really big tablespoon. I've seen like a thousand ways to die and people would get their arms ripped off. You know what? It's better this than not have an arm. Now I'm gonna add in some kind of room temp possum milk, raccoon milk. No, I'm just kidding, just whole milk. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rub this <laughs> with an oil, but I'm not gonna do that on camera because for some reason these videos are always weirdly sexual and I don't know why, so be right back. So the last time we saw you... They're building that house down there. Okay. So I want this to be like paper thin. I can see my hand, so that's what I want. I'm going to remove just the meat and we're gonna save the rest to make a ragu. <laughs> make sure you get the bay leaf out. This looks literally disgusting, but it smells really good. I'm gonna add some ricotta cheese. Adding some ricotta cheese. Okay, warning, this is actually gonna look like mush. Tristan Thompson, the one who dated Khloe Kardashian, put a little bit of the meat. This is just an egg wash. I'm gonna use it to seal the dough. It's the most powerful ability. And do this to all of them. Then turn it into the same with one click. So it's 
It's a little pocket of that meat inside. And then I'm gonna use the bigger press. And that is perfect ravioli. These are the raviolis after chilling in the fridge for 30 minutes. Ooh. Ooh. So square ones. So you can see that the pasta is kind of see-through and you can see the filling. That's how thin we want it. <laughs> yeah. Not there to support me, it would be disappointing. It's gonna be the front most important day. Oh. Help us out. She's definitely helped me pick out my clothes in the past, so perfect. Why not for the big day, right? Let's traditional, see traditional, the inside and the ricotta. Gorgeous. Some salt. That is so fucking good. That's it. If you liked it, hit subscribe. Hit the little bell notification. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a pause up. <laughs>